All right, everybody, welcome to Retarget Engine tutorial. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to set up the uh, your first campaign on Retarget Engine and kind of walk through the specifics on how to add a, uh, your campaign on Facebook and how to integrate it all. So first things first, um, this is a WordPress plugin, so you'll need to uh, log into your WordPress site. And it works best on the latest version of WordPress, so recommend if you haven't updated uh, to update and then um, all you have to do is go to plugin, add new, and then on the document or members area that you received, uh, you've got a download link uh, for the plugin. Just upload that zip file. So click upload, choose that file, and click install and just follow the prompts and you should be good on the installation. If you have any problems there, you can use your FTP. Uh, so FileZilla works really well. Um, so give that a shot. If, uh, if you have any more problems getting it installed, just email us uh, support at Retarget Engine. We'll get you taken care of. And then uh, next step, you'll see now that you have this little Retarget Engine tab here with uh, all campaigns and add new. So a campaign can be something as simple as an affiliate product or a Kindle product, really anything um, that you don't have control over the code on the website. So if you're selling an affiliate product, you don't necessarily have um, control of their uh, website, so you can't add your retargeting pixel. So what a retargeting pixel does basically is it tracks if someone's visited something and then it can display a new ad to them. So here I have one for a product called Webinar Jam. I have my affiliate link here in the campaign URL. I have my retargeting code here in the tracking area. And then I have this special URL that when people go to it, through my ad, they actually are um, uh, they are tracked through uh, Facebook retargeting, and then it actually actually goes to the affiliate website. So on setup of the ad itself, we'll walk through that. But first thing first, you got to make sure you have uh, your campaign set up. So we'll set up a new campaign here, and let's just do this for a Kindle book. We'll just Pick a random Kindle book. Uh, go out here to Kindle.Amazon. And again, you can do this with any JVZoo product, any ClickBank product, really anything like that. So I'm going to grab this book, which I really like. Um, obviously, it's not my book, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend using someone else's book unless you're looking to retarget them uh, to your own product. So um, let's grab that. We're going to put that in the campaign URL. The next thing we need to do is create a Facebook audience for this book. So we're going to go out to facebook.com slash ads. If you haven't used Facebook ads before, recommend going out. There's tons of training on YouTube that's free. Um, there's a couple good guides just on Facebook advertising itself um, on Facebook. So uh, you go into your account. And all we need to do is down here on the left, you'll see we have an audience area. So we want to click that, create a new audience for this book. And an audience, just to so you know what it is, it's actually a custom uh, set of people who have done something uh, specifically with Facebook. And for this, it's basically people who have gone to this URL. So I'm going to make an audience. That's cost, custom audience for your website. Since this is your website, you'll be able to use that. So you want to create this, and we're going to call it Willpower Instinct Book. And then next step is view this remarketing pixel. Grab this little bit of code. We're going to add it back into this tracking area. And we're going to publish this now. So what this will do will give us a special URL here, this permalink URL. You'll want to copy this. And if you're having troubles with the permalink URL, uh, you may need to go into your settings, permalinks, and set that. I'll just show you real quick. Um, set it to post name. And per like I've got it set to post ID right now, which works fine too. But this is the one that it's configured for. It does work with other setups, but that's generally the one we recommend. And I'm not even taking my own advice on that, am I? So, <laughs> so now we'll want to go back to our audience. So we've created... Uh, this custom audience for your website. We copied this into the campaign. Now we need to add so people who visited this URL. So Sean.co 
slash retargeting slash Kindle book. So yours might be slash R. We recently changed that. I just haven't updated yet. Um, so that's that. And then you can also do, um, you can extend this to 180 days. So for 180 days, anybody who visits this link, put them in this audience. That's what this whole section says. So we create an audience. Cool. Already got our audience. All done with that. Now we can create a retargeting ad. Now that's different than a regular ad. This is an ad that just shows to people who I know have gone to this link. So then that's where the power really comes in because you know that they've uh, gone to this URL. So you could actually send them back to your ebook if you wanted to. And that's what we'll do here. We'll do clicks to a website. We want to send them back to the ebook. And uh, you can all, honestly, you know, may, if you wanted to send them to a, uh, another uh, website, like an affiliate product, you could do that. You could say, hey, since you like the willpower instinct, maybe you'll like this. And we'll add in our little book cover. And you can do all this fun stuff. You know, you can, um, let's see. Thanks for checking this awesome book. It's real simple. I mean, you, you obviously you'll want to go through the strategy here is mainly um, uh, shop now. Mainly the idea is you want to show them uh, an ad based on the fact that you know they've already been there. And so you want to make the copy reflect that. Did, did you like the willpower instinct? And you should buy it. So that's, uh, that's that. You've got a retarget audience set up now. You're all good to go. I do recommend uh, just getting started with five bucks a day. That's honestly enough to get started. And then I usually bid for impressions. So this is actually where you're going to save a lot of money is bidding for impressions here because really what you want is that ad to show a lot to them. So um, you can play around with these settings, find out what works best for your niche. Um, if you make two ads and you do one for impressions and one for clicks, you'll see which one actually gets the best ROI. Um, but then that's, uh, that's how you set up the retargeting ad. Now, next step, usually, if you aren't going to be mailing this link out to an email list is setting up another Facebook ad to this URL itself. Um, so you can do that uh, just like you would on any normal uh, Facebook ad. You'd go in, create an ad, and the reason you want to send them to this URL and not this URL is because you want people to be cookied with that uh, Facebook pixel when they visit this URL, which they won't obviously if they visit the raw link. So that's how you set up a real simple uh, Facebook ad for retargeting using Retarget Engine. Um, let us know if you have any questions at support at Retarget Engine. And uh, let, us, uh, let, let us know if you have any issues getting set up. And look forward to uh, seeing your success with Retarget Engine.